Ranger. fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Kimasabi. Him put something on rock. That's strange. I'm here in the middle of nowhere. Can't make out what it is. Can you? No. Let me go and see Kimasami. All right, Tom. I'll break up camp. Where was it, Tano? Slipper on log. Belonged to small boy. Odd. A note to Sheriff in it. It say if him not resign job and pay $10,000 by Tuesday, him never see his boy again. What a rotten thing to do. Asking for ransom is bad enough. To use a child to force a man out of office. Someone plenty anxious for Sheriff to give up job. I think... long ago. But I should have paid attention to their warnings. You didn't know. Well, I should have known. When they shot our horses, I should have known. When they burned the corral, I should have resigned then. But no. I was going to lick the Beeler gang. I was going to drive them out of the country. Bert, what are we going to do? Darling, darling, we're going to give them the money. And I'm not going to run again, and everything's going to be all right. Where are we going to get $10,000? Well, sell the cattle and the ranch. And if that doesn't do it, we'll get the rest somehow. I tell you, Lori, everything's going to be all right. You go into the other rooms. But listen, don't antagonize them. Don't cross them. Do whatever they say. Agree to anything they ask or, or we're never going to get Tommy back. I know, darling. Go on, hurry. Bert Lawson? I thought I had until Tuesday to get the money for you. You have things wrong, Lawson. But that's what the note said. I haven't written any note. We're not men who take your son. Then what are you doing here? We've come to help you. People who want to help don't usually wear masks. Usually not, but I do. May we come in? Look, you've got my boy. You took him out of a sick bed. And I've got to sell my ranch so you can have the money. And quit my job so you can run things your way. Do I have to invite you into my house, too? Bert, Bert, I asked you not to cross them. You may come in, if you like. Mrs. Lawson, I believe you've seen one of these before. Why? Why, you're... Is the name of your horse... Silver. Oh. Well, come in. Come in. Thank you. My Uncle Jim told me about you. He told me about you so often. And about Tonto. He said the two of you could do anything. He said he couldn't have remained sheriff if it hadn't been for you. At least not a, a live sheriff. He was a good sheriff. One of the best. Good sheriff seemed to run in your family, Mrs. Lawson. Well, I tried to carry on where Laura's Uncle Jim left off. But I'm finding out what a mistake that was. The Beeler gang is really showing me. Maybe they're the ones who made a mistake. When they've got our boy? No. He said they took him out of a sick bed. Yes, he, he had a bad cold and a cough, and, and he was running a fever. Then there may be a chance to outwit these outlaws and get your boy back safe. 
I have a plan I'm sure will work, if you'll help me assume a disguise. But what if your plan and the disguise doesn't work? Will anything happen to Tommy? I hope not, Bert. My uncle said that you could do anything. It won't go wrong. <coughs> Now, what am I? You're silly. Real silly. I want to go home. Now, you better take them covers and keep them on you. <coughs> Not so hot. Yeah, I know, but you better keep the covers on. Cut out that hacking. Told you to shut that kid up, didn't I? Kept me awake all night last night. I'm sick of listening to him. Just our luck. The kid's got to have a cold. I hope your idea about him works. It'll work. Nothing else we did got rid of that sheriff. This'll work. I tell you, it's got to work. I'm sick of pulling those two-bit jobs, holding up a stage here, robbing a bank there, just the four of us. No vision. I'm going to be a big man. And getting rid of that sheriff and taking over the town is just the beginning. How do you mean, Stan? What else are you aiming to do? Who knows? When you get control of a town that's a big railhead, like this is going to be, there's no telling where you can go. Yes, sir. I got vision. I'm going to be a big man. Oh, hello there. What'll it be? Me, fellow sheriff, tell you about. Huh? Him say you know everybody in town. So if stranger come, you... Oh, yeah, yeah. If a stranger comes in, I'm supposed to give you the high sign, huh? Well, sit down. <laughs> Another cup of coffee? Huh. Please. Maybe have a long wait. Strangers don't come in here much. Well, I got time. Just be sure to let me know when one does come in. I will. Hello, darling. Ah, I hope lunch is ready. I'm starved. Mmm, something smells good. What is it? Nothing's happened. Not yet. What have you got in this? Every single day it's not yet. But the Lone Ranger's not in the least discouraged, darling. I just left the cafe. He's sure those crooks will come to town. He is. He, he really feels that way. And we've got to feel sure, too, Laura. I know. Stan, that kid's real sick. So what? You ought to have a doctor. I ought to have a million bucks. You know, I think Joe's fallen for that kid. He's a nice kid. Anyhow, he's no good to us if he kicks off, is he? He won't kick off. Kids are tough. Well, I remember when I was a kid. I was so sick once I've that I... ten dollars. You don't say. <laughs> There's your ten. Bet your ten more. I call. Joe, make sure he doesn't cough all night again. We won't need a doctor. Or anybody else. What am I, a magician? Make him stop coughing? Terravasis. <laughs> Thought you were bluffing. Three sixes. Give him some cough medicine. Yeah, that's an idea. Give him some cough medicine. Oh, sure, I'm a magician. Abacadabra, cough medicine. Well, go into town and get some and stop being so entertaining. You think he ought to go into town, Stan? Don't have to worry about Joe. He's the only smart boy I've got. <laughs> My deal. What'll it be? Oh, let me have some cereal. And candy. These suckers will do. Yeah, them sure have been popular with the kids. Have you got any cough medicine? No, you got to get that down at the drugstore. How much is that? That'd be 15, uh, 20 cents. Uh, yeah, that's just the right amount, 20 cents. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> say, I need a little cough medicine myself and a bite to eat. Well, a green frog to phrase down here just a half block. I clean forgot to. Him be here a minute, Kim Asabi. Him in drugstore now. Then him come here. How do you know he's our man? Him buy cereal, candy for kid, ask for cough medicine. Sounds like our man, all right. What did he look like? In big, uh, heavy, have blue eyes and wear a green neckerchief. Go tell the sheriff we're ready. Tell him to give me five minutes first. You'll find him in his office.
never saw him before. Better take his order. Well, what'll it be? Glass of beer. No beer. Give me a cup of coffee, then. What kind of sandwiches you got? Uh, roast beef and cheese. Oh, wait a uh, What's the matter, Doc? Your eyes look sort of funny to me. They do? Hmm. Don't feel hot. You go straight home and go to bed. When you wake up in the morning, if you don't feel better, you stay there. You better take some of these. Oh, uh, what are they? Pills. Uh, they won't hurt you none. Well, thanks, Doc. All right. Sure hope he isn't catching it. Catching what? Typhoid. Spreads like wildfire once it gets started. That Lawson boy that's missing. Suppose you heard about him. Mm -hmm. People say he's got it. Well, all we can do is hope for the best. Good day. What are you doing here? Just had a cup of coffee. Now I'm leaving. Good. And my suggestion to you is that when you leave this cafe, you keep right on going. We don't want people like you around here. What's the matter, Sheriff? I know this man. He shouldn't be allowed to practice medicine. Well, you don't have to talk to me as if I were a crook. Any doctor that would work with outlaws like the Dirk Nelson gang is worse than a crook. Maybe the only reason you don't work with outlaws for money is you don't get the chance. Come on, I'll show you the way out of town. Unhand me, sir. Don't let sheriff off. Sheriffs. Say, uh, which way are you heading? No, rightly no. Heard what the man said in there. Must leave town. Would you like to pick up a little money on your way out? What do you got in mind? Well, from what the sheriff says, you're not too finicky where you pick up your money or who you take it from. It's all money, son. You've got the right idea, Doc. Maybe we can do business. Let's take a ride. Be done. being followed. Oh, come on. It's an Indian. Hey, you're right. So long, Indian. I know a river trail he'll never follow. Come on, Doc. Sure, I'm glad to see you. Get in there with that cough medicine. Kid's driving me nuts. Stan, the kid's probably got typhoid. How do you know? I heard about it in town. And you've been running there every five minutes to shut him up. Yeah, yeah, I know. But we're in luck. I found a doc. A doc? You know we can't take chances on anyone coming here. But he's been kicked out of the business for fixing up Dirk Nelson. Dirk Nelson? Oh. <laughs> you see, I told you Joe was the only smart boy I got. Where is he? Come on in, doc. Hi, Doc. How do you do? The kid's in here. Uh, Doc, uh, that typhoid's uh, pretty catching, huh? Can be. Well, what's the signs? Cold, fever, general fatigue. Uh, is it bad, Doc? I advise you men to stay out of this room. Sure, sure, Doc. Anything you say. I'll sit up with them tonight. There should be a crisis. I think you'll be all right by tomorrow. Say, uh, is there anything you can give us, Doc, uh, to keep us from catching it? Just stay out of this room. Tommy, I want you to listen to me very carefully. I'm a friend of your father's, and I'm going to get you out of here. But we've got to be very careful. I'm telling you this now, because later on, there won't be time to talk. We're going to wait until they're all asleep. Then we're going through that window without making a sound. Get on my horse and ride faster than you've ever ridden before. <coughs> I know you don't feel very well, son, and it's not going to be easy on you. But if you're real good, we can get to town real quick. Then your father and I can hurry back and round up these outlaws. Think you can do it? I know you can. Beats oh. me. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. It's almost 4 o'clock. I'm going to turn in. How about you, Stan? Oh, I'll play a while longer. You ain't left it? Neelum. Good. <laughs> well, Doc? Oh, the boy will be all right. Go ahead and get some fresh air. You fellas better get some sleep. Worst thing you can do, lose sleep. Typhoid generally picks on a tired body. I open. Count me out. Me too. You make me sick. This whole business with the kid makes me sick. Nothing but grief since we grabbed it. And that's the truth. I told you fooling with kids was bad stuff. Lefty, I want you to go into town. Now? Yes, now. I want you to take a note to the sheriff's house. Changed my mind. It was too easy. I'm not going to give him till Tuesday to raise the money and to resign. I want to get rid of that kid tomorrow. Now, that's real sensible, Stan. Resign by tomorrow. What if he can't get a hold of the money by then? That's his problem. As long as I'm going to town, Stan, I might stay a while. Look around, get some breakfast. It'll be daylight soon. As long as you're back here by noon. Are you really going to sleep? I sure am. Good night. you give Tommy medicine you send. Take good care of him. Same care as real doctor. Wouldn't it be wonderful if by this time tomorrow the Lone Ranger would have him back? Him have him back soon, you see. Me wish me could help. Me hate just wait here. Me go back to the spot where Lone Ranger disappear. Look around. Sheriff's house. He's no doctor. They kept calling the Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? Come on, we can catch him. Those bushes over there, right over there, and stay there. I'll fire to keep them back. Go on, Silver. Oh. Get your bad lefty. Crease me in the leg. 
You, Joe, and Lefty stay here. I'm going to try to circle around behind him. You keep drawing his fire. Stan's got him. Come on. You're not a gun. I look like them, the doctor now, Kimasabi. We'll tie them up and take them in. You'll find the other member of the gang over there behind the rocks with a bullet crease in his leg. Let me go get him. All right, you. Get over there. <laughs> oh, Tommy, Tommy. Where did Pop go? We had four customers for his jail. Had to take care of them. Gee, sometimes I wish Pop wasn't sheriff. So he's so busy. <laughs> That's his job, darling. And Tommy? I think he's going to have that job for a long, long time. You know, Mom, I've changed my mind. I'm not going to be a fireman. I'm going to be a doctor. <laughs> you are, darling. Yep, I'm going to be a doctor, just like that mass member tenant. Hey, he's gone. Why, so he has. Who is he, Mom? <laughs> Remember those stories Uncle Jim used to tell us about that wonderful man who rode the big white horse? Sure do. You mean? He's the man, Tom. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello, Bill. 